Hello, denizens of the internet. Today, I'm reviewing a new documentary called Attack of the Dock, about the rise and fall of G4 TV, written and directed by Chris Gore. Now, I'm talking about the original version of G4, not the more recent pathetic attempt at resurrecting it here on the internet. The primary focus of Attack of the Dock is a segment on G4 TV called Attack of the Show, starring Kevin Pereira and eventually Olivia Munn. This unusual combination of the goofy, skinny Pereira paired with the extraordinarily sexy Munn, with both willing to go where no show had ever gone before, was an incendiary combination that took the G4 TV cable show to new levels of insanity. No other show covered gaming, tech, and pop culture in such a format. It was the CNN of nerd culture. The documentary covers the beginnings of Attack of the Show, its accidental incursion into Comic-Con, and the meteoric symbiotic relationship it developed with Comic-Con, GamersCon, and E3, and its eventual demise in 2005. It's really hard to underestimate how important G4 TV was to the evolution of pop culture as we know it in its time. The first 30 minutes of the documentary covers the beginnings of G4 TV and attack of the show. If you're not a G4 TV fan, then this will feel a little bit overlong, I feel, more like a home movie. But it deftly shows just how insane Attack of the Show was. The stunts they pulled and how well Munn and Pereira played off each other. Be warned, it contains footage of humor and tasteless slapstick that has been outlawed today. But the moment where Chris Gore takes a break from his movie review segments on uh, G4, telling everyone he's off to Comic-Con with... G4's impromptu decision to follow him there to do some casual coverage, all hell breaks loose. Kevin and Olivia have no idea what a huge following they have with Comic-Con attendees, and they are mobbed. In following years, the sets became more elaborate, and as pop culture continued to infiltrate movies and TV shows, the studios sent their representatives and stars to be interviewed. James Cameron knew the importance of G4 TV because he was a geek and a nerd, and he would regularly appear doing the odd skit and show off his latest camera technology. The show also took advantage of the rise of AAA video games, a, a multi-billion dollar business in its own right. Game devs became stars, voiceover actors became popular, Coverage of these trade shows went from a few hours to a 24-hour feed. All of this coincided with the Marvel Universe arriving, DC movies, etc. The show helped to elevate nerd culture, that it wasn't lame and not just for losers. And it was about real inclusion, not the fake exclusionary inclusion people are pushing now. When the already devastating Mun showed up dressed in Princess Leia slave bikini on the convention floor, the reaction was tsunami. All those impressions we have of casts on panels, cheering attendees, the explosion of cosplay, that is burned into our consciousness. Well, that all came to us by way of G4 TV and Attack of the Show. Of course, the studios did their best to step in and exploit things, often with first trailer reveals. But in the end, it was all about what the fans wanted, and certainly... For a while, it was a great relationship, but it couldn't last forever. Key cast members left the show, Comic-Con and others became overtly corporatized, and G4 TV ended. It's hard to say if we'd be where we are now with comic book and fantasy movies and TV shows without 
the trade shows and G4 TV's coverage of them, and of course, their regular crazy adventures in between those events, I highly recommend Attack of the Duck. It's a, it's a really good, entertaining ride. For anyone who is interested in the rise of pop culture, this is a mandatory viewing. If you lived during the G4 TV epoch, it will be a trip down memory lane. Till next time, denizens, be seeing you.